and welcome to my channel. I will say welcome back, but it's been three months since I've uploaded because of invalid traffic uh, by YouTube clean up had invalid traffic and my channel is new so I just said you know what take a break don't got time for it but anyway in this video will tell you about the independent leveling mechanism that 13th gen Intel processors are having and a lot of people are going to contact frame they're putting contact frames on their CPU and I decided I would join that crowd because last night all of a sudden Actually, the night before my idling temperatures, which I will show you right here in this B-roll, where you can see where my idle temperature is like 65, 70. And yeah, I probably need to reseat, but still that was too hot just for a minor reseat. So what I'm going to be doing in the video, I'm going to be reseating uh, my cooler, of course my AIO, and I'm going to be installing that contact frame so I won't have no Boeing issues or won't have to worry about that Boeing issues. So with that being said, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button and uh, share, comment, and let me know if you had that issue. And I'll talk to you on the next one. All right, have a good one. Peace.
right so that is the finished results you've seen the before I put on a contact frame the LGA 1700 contact frame or the frame for your 12th and 13th gen processors versus when I didn't have it on I didn't know what was going on the reason that power draw was so high because the contact was not getting all the way to the AIO but with that being said that is somewhat what was causing the issue another thing what was causing the issue is the supposedly integrated loader mechanism bracket that comes with the high-end motherboards that buy mid to high-end processors and we have to get a contact frame from thermal right or you can get some cheaper but $17 under to remedy the issue that is crazy but as you looking as you're looking at my temperatures my idle temperatures and that's not all the way out of because I'm running 14 tabs in the background and I mean it's just night and day the power draw is night and day as you seen in the beginning of the video my power draw was like I was doing a stress test on my processor it's crazy uh, my usage of my CPU was like in the 25 30 sometimes it spiked up to 40 I'm like what's going on so I just said you know what let me get that contact frame because I was going to get it anyway but I was just uh, procrastinating and I said you know what it's time to get it so I got that contact frame had no idea that thermal compound came with it but I got the Arctic um, M4 and thermal compound and that thermal compound that thermal compound is great um, thermal grizzly it really didn't do it for me I use thermal grizzly and this compound here is more impressive to me on my work on my gaming rig even though I do more video editing and photo editing and things of that nature um, the temperature is already is better than I've ever got with the thermal grizzly. I just can't figure it out. Keeping this in mind, these temperatures look like this, and it's still a uh, compound still have to cure. It haven't even cured yet. So, you know, at when I recorded that video, it had not cured yet, and it still haven't cured. And this is crazy, but. Uh, for those of you who are having issues and you don't got no malware or nothing and you wonder why your outer temperature is through the roof then you know these 13th gen processors run hot like the 12th gen processors run hot but keep in mind do all your checks and then if that is still not what's going on get you a contact frame matter of fact if you don't have a problem get you a contact frame fix the issue you don't have to worry about blowing you will get every contact you will get a solid contact to that processor and the temperatures will be fixed but with that I, that being said I'm going to be out uh, subscribe like comment share and I will see y'all on the next one until next time y'all have a blessed day